Class is dismissed, boys and girls. <laughs> Previously on the YTV Retrospective. done with the Halloween festivities for this year, as we have a show from recent years that was little seen, but fondly remembered. This series in particular was filmed in Barrie, Ontario. A constantly expanding city with a bolstering downtown core and a relaxing waterfront community. Many of the driving shots show the central icon of the town, the Spirit Catcher, made by sculptor Ron Baird for Expo 86 in Vancouver. With this town in mind, it's time to hunt down some monsters as we take a look at Monster Warriors. I make the monsters big. Monster Warriors follows four teens. The leader, Luke, played by Jared Kiso, who you may recognize as Wayne from Letterkenny. Got a quarter? Check this out. My parents invented the grocery card coin dispenser. Come on. The quirky exchange student, Antonio, played by Yanni Gelman from the Lizzie McGuire movie and Guinevere Jones. What did you do, my little friend? You are not, in fact, the instigator of any unusual or untoward behavior. And yet, for some reason, people are actually afraid of you. The MacGyver and tech builder of the team, Tabby, played by Mandy Butcher from the series Naturally Sadie. I just know how to build stuff. It's one of those things. And the martial artist Vanka, played by Lara Amersey from Radio Free Roscoe. Vanka! Really close. As they defend their hometown, Capital City, from an array of B movie monsters brought to life by a filmmaker turned mad scientist, Klaus von Steinhauer, played by Sean Cullen. Aside from his work as a comedian, you may recognize him as the voice of Lucius Haynes VII in Jimmy Two Shoes and the monsters 4, 5, and 7 in Seven Little Monsters. Oh, yes, my pet. One by one, you will pluck them like dainties from a chocolate box. <laughs> All sorts of monsters appear over the course of the show, each one given a campy B-movie episode title, such as the first episode, The Giant Spider Invasion. Package Wonder Super Packers! As the four meet each other working on a science project and meet at Luke's coach house, This is a car. They encounter a giant spider and manage to escape. They request the help of Krieger, a monster movie expert that runs the local movie rental shop. Okay, I can dig that. Earth versus the giant spider invasion. One of the best Klaus von Steinhauer productions ever. And find out the weakness to the spider by watching the movie the spider is from. They build the tech. Monster Warriors are formed and fight against the spiders in an abandoned brewery. There are also giant dragons, a T-Rex, Krakens, and even carnivorous butterflies. I didn't mean for you to come that close. And I'll get you the girl, please. I don't want the girl, I want the molly. In season two, we are introduced to a new villain, the mystery monster maker, who creates monster machine hybrids. <gasps> Androids? Actually, the technical term is cyborgs. Androids! Including the vile Alta Beast. The series was created by Wilson Coney Bear, a writer on shows like Caitlin's Way, Shining Time Station, and a few episodes of Kratz Creatures. He is also the son of a Canadian legend. And we're on our way to the castle. I'll hurry over first and go in the back door so I can let the drawbridge down and open the big front doors for you. Are you ready? Here is my castle. <laughs> That man being Rod Coney Bear, the puppeteer of Jerome the Giraffe and Roddy the Rooster in the long-running CBC children's series, 
The Friendly Giant, a series that ran for 25 years in Canada. He was also the voice of Avalanche in the 90s X-Men series. From 2006 to 2008, Monster Warriors lasted two seasons with 52 episodes. It aired a couple of times on YTV, including the Saturday morning block Crunch and the Friday night anime block Bionix. Mainly to fill the Canadian content quota the block needed to provide to the CRTC. Hey, it's me, Paula from Vortex. I'm here in the metropolis of Capital City, where movie monsters are terrorizing the city in the new show, Monster Warriors. <gasps> yeah! Whoa! This is not what I was expecting. Help! Is that Paula from YTV? It is. We've got to save her. Come on, guys. It's monster time. Put me down, you overgrown lizard! Monster Warriors, Saturdays at 10.30 in Vortex. It also aired in the UK on Genix. A majority of the first season was released on DVD in four best of releases by Anchor Bay Entertainment. However, North Video from the Czech Republic has released the first season in both Czech and English. It was an interesting series with lots of history and has that B-movie feel when it comes to presentation and the overall story. Check it out and prepare for the monster invasion. When we come back, we've got an obscure special to cover. As next month... It's Christmas! Next time on the YTV Retrospective. Now here's an old holiday favorite. All I want for Christmas is a stocking full of joy. When 